Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Apparently, Wild is going to be the hairdo of the day, along with Beard. Um, so, we're going to do... I heard you guys wanted a cleaning video. Well, I can't just clean in the kitchen. I do cook and clean, so... We're going to get both. I'm going to show you the disaster we're working with today. Because it's a good disaster. Pain does that to a body. I don't know how many of you are in, in serious pain like I am, but you know, you know you have those days when you just can't get up and do a damn thing. And yes, Rockstar. This is um, sugar-free for your diabetics, especially if you're low on energy. This stuff is amazing. It, it'll get you up off the chair. All right, now it's my breakfast. All right, so I'm going to show you the what we're working with for dishes, and we'll continue on. All right, well, without showing you a whole, whole lot, you might see wifey now and then. So we've got this mess, that mess, and as I walk over this mess, and then this mess. Um, so, all of this needs to be cleaned up. I did do the garbage yesterday because it was garbage day. Um, the floors are a disaster. So, please forgive the disaster. Alright, so. Now, the first thing, I, the first thing of course, is dishwater. We have, I have no dishwasher. Washer. I am the dishwasher. So, for all of you who have dishwashers, this is fairly easy. You know, put it in the dishwasher and make sure you pre-soak your dishes. Most everything I have is dried on right now. So, because it's been a couple of days of some serious pain that I haven't been able to do a thing with. And yesterday was grocery shopping day and I just don't, Grocery shopping day, I just generally throw pizza in the oven and call it a day after I get back from the grocery store. Because um, if all of you guys know that we're, we're on, you know, SSI, SSDI, food stamps, the whole thing. You don't get a lot. You only get to go shopping once a month. It's not once a week, every paycheck or something like that. So, that all being said, I have to get all of the groceries in at once the other thing is we don't have a working vehicle so when my mother-in-law comes down to take us to take me to the grocery store I have to make sure I get it all and if I miss something I miss something um, sorry about the nose um, so at the moment it is time to get your water ready for your dishes. I have some in the sink already. I'm going to put the tablet up where you can hopefully see everything I'm doing. I don't know how much of this you're going to be able to see because I don't have a real good place to put this thing. Oh, let's see. Up there. Yeah, it kind of looks that way. All right, so I got some dishes. I got some dishes here. Um, I usually run. I usually use boiling hot water. As hot as my water heater will go is what I use. It takes a minute to warm it up. Start it, throw some soap in, all the boring stuff. Okay, now back to this. I usually rock, I usually do music for my cleaning because it helps keep me motivated and energized. Um, and I'll probably do that during the pauses. Because I'm not going to have you guys sit through 
watching me do dishes. I mean, come on. That's boring. Really boring. So, what we're going to do first, um, I usually put silverware in first because it's the most difficult uh, to get to wash. So we'll put the, we'll put the, rinse the silverware off and put it in. Rinse it off the best you can. For all of you who have never done this manually, this manual dishwashing before. And there might be a few of you, you know. Move, switch houses. All of that good stuff. You know, you might have moved to a place that doesn't have a dishwasher and can't afford and you can't afford to buy one. So you have to do it by yourself. So for all of my new dishwa dishwashers out there, silverware, I usually put the silverware in first. It gives it the longest soak. So I have to go around and find all of my silverware. That's done, I think. As best it can be, anyway. Um, we're going to be doing a lot of fixing of things today. Uh, wifey's requested some more uh, spice cake. I did find a uh, gluten free version that's really, really good. Now, this isn't a sponsored video. But we're going to fix this today. I don't know if you can see it all. Because apparently what I see in my screen is not what the camera picks up. So, um, if you are gluten free or have nut allergies, I believe this is, this is supposed to make two cakes. It's gluten free and it's nut free. So, for all of you who have gluten and nut allergies, there you go. For my diabetics out there, um, be careful with the cake. It is, it is in no way diabetic friendly. So, if you fix it, you know, you might want to think about putting half in the freezer because after you fix the cake and it, and it gets cold, you can freeze them. There's nothing, no problem with doing that. So you can portion it out and freeze it, and then that way you can take it out as you go without wasting it. Because, you know, in this day and age, none of us can afford to uh, waste food. All right, I oh, found another spoon. Now, at this point in time, I'm going to put start putting my cups and stuff in in the in the sink so that I can wash them up. The glasses, coffee cups, and stuff like that, I usually do this way because you really don't want grease on them, but you do want to give your, like I said, your silverware time to soak, especially if it's dried on garbage. Dried on food is some of the worst stuff ever. I tend to fill my sink up until it just about runs over. I'm weird that way because you know, I think it I think it's just because of how much how many dishes I end up doing at once so we've got all this going now I'm going to set you guys over here like these Let's go there, because uh, I want I want you guys to see uh, my utility table over there. Um, but we organ we have to organize our dishes. I don't have a lot of space to deal with in the kitchen, so everything has its has its place and organizations. All right, 
So you have to organize how you're going to wash this. And if any of you have worked in the restaurants, you will recognize this right away. Because you have to do this in the restaurants. Or you get yourself screwed. Remember I said dried on? Some of the worst things in the world to deal with is pancake syrup. Especially when, when people get trash into the pancake syrup. It, it becomes really, really messy at this point, at that point. So, do all that miscellaneous pile, knife, coffee cup. I have a bit of room at the sink, so I tend to line up the coffee cups so I can do them as I go. All right, so plates. I think we got everything except for the one that's in Wifey's room right now. Right, wifey's office. There, there. Okay. See? Organization. We used to call organization the key to failure. Uh, teasing. Of course. Alright. Now. I'm still organizing. Because I still got more to go. But my whole goal is trying to get this... Uh, trying to get my sink cleared out so I can use it over here. Because when you start rinsing off your dishes from the soap, it's not that it gets dirty, but if you have stuff in the way, it tends to block the larger dishes you're doing. I don't have enough room to say, rinse this and have dishes in the dish in the other sink. All right, or like I'm going to make make scrapple for breakfast this morning, which I'll probably show you guys. Um, and I don't have time to, or I won't have the sink to be able to wash off the pan because the pan's dirty. So, gotta clear out the sink. So we got all that done. Now you okay so we got our we got everything organized here ah, thumbs in the way we got everything organized for our our dishes if I can. <sighs> all right so I'm gonna put the camera down and talk um so the those screens they work in the sinks bathroom bathtubs bath uh you know bath sinks things like that they help keep your plumbing from clogging up on you um, if you have kids or if you just have a lot of debris that you deal with like i do they're great um, we have a lot of debris dog hair especially with you know three service dogs that will clog up a, a sewer in no time flat. So those screens really help, especially when giving dogs baths and, you know, you mop the floor, you dump out the water and didn't realize how much dog hair was really in that water. Stuff like that. All right. So at this point in time, we are soaking our dishes. I'm going to turn the oven on for the cake. So that gets turned on at 350. So it'll be nice and hot by the time I use it. All right, and then as far as the scrapple goes, I'm going to wash off the pan. And then, uh, yeah, I'm having a, we're having a sinus headache week because the weather's going crazy here in Colorado. Uh, it's fall and, and spring are the worst times of the year for me. And right now, winter can't make up its mind whether it wants to come visit or if it's just passing through or what. Kind of hoping for an Indian summer, honestly. Um, so, 
we've got all of that. I'm gonna wash up the pan and, and do the scrapple. And that's, the scrapple is easy. I don't know if you guys have ever seen scrapple, but I will start that in another video separately from the cleaning one. So this is going to be the cleaning video and um, I'll finish up with you guys in a while. Okay. <coughs> And no, it's not COVID-19. I have a nasal CPAP machine. So all of this nasal drainage that you hear with the nasal CPAP machine goes into my lungs. Beautiful thought, isn't it? So they get kind of full of you really quickly. And then when I get up, breathing and all of that becomes an interesting adventure. Okay, so. With all of that done, I'm going to start cleaning counters and getting my space all done. So, here, let's do this. Because I know you can see the counter at least somewhat. And my my fluff, of course. Um, so, we're going to start all of this. I put the tea away. Now, if you're wondering what happened to the tea, um, yours truly to accidentally tossed it into the into the mop water. So I had to rinse it off really quick yesterday. It of course ruined the box. So, but because it's still sealed, it should it's all right. Just had to wait for everything to dry up before I put it away today. somewhere under here I'm gonna put all of this tea tie I feel so British okay take all of this I don't know if you can see it or not but there's some debris white debris and stuff on it. Shake it off over your trash can. Uh, and the dogs are getting in trouble again for barking. Because they bark at everything that moves. And I do mean everything that moves. Okay. So, all of that being said, being said and done, I'm going to slide you over, and we're going to do up a pan real quick, if I can. Let's see if that, there you go. You can see the sink. I'm going, all I'm doing is just putting some hot water in the pan with some soap. So I can clean off the debris and the grease. Let that soak for a few minutes and then we'll be ready to cook. Uh, and here's my other dish sink full. All right, and then here we go. So I'm going to let everything soak, start some, I gotta put the tablet on the charger, and I'm going to start some uh, music and try and get some of this stuff done. All right, be back in a while. All right, here we go. And there's everything that's been done so far. And I have a stash in the back back there. If your water is nasty, my water is kind of very ugly. Um, feel free to change it. Get all the debris out and everything. Um, so that you can start the next round with a fresh, fresh sink full of dishes. But that's everything that's been done. You know, as you can see, I still got quite a 
couple of piles there. The stove still needs done and all of that, but we'll get there, okay? I'm going to go ahead and set up the next round of dishes and go for it. All right, so what I did was I took the stacks of bowls I had and put them in the sink. As you can see, the sink is really full, but I was able to split the stack and get it in there. And then, so first I filled the sink up to about that full. I took the pan and scooped out the water and some of the soap in there so it'll soak. Put the bowls and stuff in there and then filled it up again around them. All right. I'm kind of cheating a little bit. I also washed my strainer um, because I'm going to end up cooking today and I do need those sooner rather than later. I'm going to try to finish this video up for cleaning a kitchen. But as you can see, we're, we are making progress. And then there's the, there's the wifey. Hi. 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 Still in a foul mood, but don't really care. Yep. And then. Because it's, it's the trainer day. Uh-huh. Okay. And that's the dishes we're going to have left after, after we get cleaned. Plus this egg pan, which, you know. Being an enterprising cook that I am, see all that's in there is a little bit of grease. We'll just throw that right there, okay? I'll wash both of those up at the same time before I start that. Sorry for swinging the camera so hard. I, I apologize if some of you get a little bit sick with the uh, video. I'm still, I'm waiting to get uh, some decent video equipment so I can do better videos for uh, both her and I. <laughs> well, shout out to George Nori and Coast to Coast AM there. <sighs> you guys want real new, real news and real solid reporting on things that go bump in the night. You know, stuff that the regular news will not cover, such as UFOs and cryptids and all that other stuff. Coast to Coast is where it's at. You can find them on the web, coasttocoastam.com. So, a little shout out. Hey, George, how you doing? Um, and then we are making progress. Okay. So, the strainer is going to come out of there. So, I have room for the bowls. Um, because I have to do the uh, cooking today. And those are going to be two separate videos. I'll do the one on the one for the cake, and I will do the one for uh, the uh, lasagna bake. All right. Now I'm going to do the lasagna a little different. It's a request from the wifey, so you have to come and find me and see, check that out, and see what's going on. Yeah, the big long size because. For whatever reason, Apple thought it was cute to uh, not include spinning cameras. So you have to stop the video every time you want to spin a camera. So there you go. Here's your stack of bowls and plates. Miscellaneous stuff. And as you can see, my pots and pans are, are dirty. So this is this here is going to be for Scrapple. This is going to be for the, the lasagna bake I do today for you. And... See? So we got the first round of dishes soaking already. If you guys are doing manual dishwashing, buy some of these screens. They will help keep your sink from clogging up on you. These things are amazing. You can use them and you just dump off the debris. But you can use them. Uh, sorry about the spinning. I know some of you get a little bit sick with that. <laughs> 